Oh my gosh, my eyes are bleeding. It's so bright. Oh. Okay, guys, today I'm going to teach you how to turn on dark mode for studio. Nice. So that you could see. Because light mode makes me blind. I'm also going to show you how to change the colors of the text in the script. So you know how function is blue, you can change that to red, purple, pink, whatever color you want, you know? To change it, go up to the top bar, and you want to go all the way to the left side of that to the file. Go down to settings, and the menu should come up. Now this menu is where all the magic happens. As you can see, there's this huge list. You have game options, Lua. Here, you want to go to studio, and this is where you turn it to the dark mode. Thank you, thank you dark mode. You want to go down to the theme in general, and you want to change light to dark. Yes! Oh my gosh! Yes! Yes! And when you scroll down, you can change the color of the script. You can change the background color too. You can change everything you want. Let's change the built-in function color. Right now it's blue. I'm just gonna mess around. I don't recommend messing around. Your script is gonna look like a rainbow. Let's make the text red. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Christmas time already. String gotta make it white to complete the Christmas tree. Now it's red, white, and green, oh boy. And you can select everything here. And you really can make it any color. Let's make it all the background color so we can't see it. Guys, am I blind or is the text just not there? <laughs> Whenever you hover over it, you can see it. But right now you can't see it because it's the same color as the background. Now I'm gonna show you my setup. I think my setup is okay. The main colors in my setup are blue and gray. So it's pretty simple. The text color that I went with is 220 for each RGB value. This gives you a nice shade of white, but it's not too white. You can still see. It's not like the light theme that burns your eyeballs out. It has a little bit of gray in it. My background color is 18, 18, 18. It's a little darker than the, the dark theme. And I like it that way, it makes it stand out. My selection color is 100% white. Now it's a selection color, so it's kind of transparent. So that complete white color isn't gonna burn your eyes because it's transparent. My selection background color is red. Since the theme is pretty dark and blue, red is pretty good contrast with the blue. My operator color is pretty much the same as the text color. Now you could probably change this. I chose to make it similar because I want mine to be very simple. I don't want too many colors in mine. My numbers are yellow and kind of like orange yellow, so that blends in really well with the blue. It's kind of like that Pokemon. There's my string color. My string is the first blue that I introduced. And this is a very light blue, and it looks pretty good on the really dark background. My comments, I went with green for this one, and that's pretty much the, the default one on Roblox, and it fits in pretty well with this theme as well. Preprocessor color, <laughs> I've gotta be honest, I don't know what this is. Do you guys know what this is? Cause I don't even know. I'm just gonna make it pink cause I don't even know where it is. For my keyword color, I went with a pretty dark gray, but I made it lighter than the background color. My errors, gotta make that bright red. No errors are get getting by. Warning colors, we're making that bright yellow or bright orange, whatever you guys like. For the fine selection and the matching word background color, I went with red again to match the original selection background color. But this time I made it a little darker. And now the built-in function color. This is the other shade of blue that I was talking about. And it's a bit darker than the string blue. Now above the script editor, you can change the font. This is magical. This is my favorite one. The one that I cho chose is Franklin Gothic Medium. I just like Gothic. It looks really simple, really smooth. Now you can choose whatever you want. I know some people love Comic Sans. Boom, there you go, Comic Sans for all the Comic Sans lovers out there. Now, what if the text is too small for you? You're in luck because you can make it much bigger. Oh my gosh, it's so big. What the, what the heck? How do you script? You can only see four lines. Oh my gosh. Undo, 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 undo. Back to 12. I prefer 12. <laughs> what is this? Now for all of you people that speak, uh, what is this, arrow language, arrows? If you speak the arrow language, Roblox has you covered. They have all the kinds of arrows so that you could script in it. Let's actually write something here in arrow language. There you go, that right there means subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notifications, I'm out, see you later, bye bye.